Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. It's a glorious Thursday morning. It's at least partly sunny, kind of cloudy, however you want to term it. There's sun, but there's a lot of clouds. I don't know if that's going to burn off today or if it's going to be that way. I thought that it was supposed to be nicer today, but I guess yesterday was going to be the warmer day anyways. Not that it did me much good because I was in the car all damn day. Today, no different. I have a meeting at 10 and another one at 12. The one at 12 is way, way above DC. So it's going to take me probably five, five and a half hours to get home just because I'm going to be driving through DC traffic, lunchtime traffic. And then by the time I get to Virginia Beach, I'll be hitting awful tunnel rush hour traffic. So eh, my, my least favorite ride home today because of, of how long it takes me. Okay, that being said, I did see that the two times teleconverter was delivered yesterday. So I was just itching all day and I will be today because I couldn't pick it up and play with it. So I'm going to pick that up on the way home. The Freewell UV filter for my 7200 should be delivered today as well. Then it's full speed ahead, creation. I got up really early this morning for some reason. I couldn't sleep probably because it's a hotel and I freaking hate sleeping in hotels. So I was up before seven, given that I, for some reason, scheduled my meet first meeting for 10 instead of nine. I've got a shit ton of time before my next meeting, but I don't want to go eat breakfast yet. I just don't feel like it. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do for the next hour and a half. Probably what I'm going to do is go to my first meeting anyways and catch him early. And, and then if he doesn't want to meet, I can just go stick my thumb up my butt and, I don't know, get on to the McDonald's or something. But I think I should be fine. So I just wanted to give you a brief good morning. And now I'm going to get the hell out of this hotel room and get my day started. So let's hit the road. Found a Cracker Barrel. Time to chow. Oh, the road rage is strong today. Every asshole and their brother is out, I swear. This is the one thing that drives me crazy about this job is the amount of time that I'm driving. And I've mentioned it before, I'm sure, uh, and how much more road ragey this job has made me. There are just certain things that piss me off. I'm in the far left lane because I'm driving faster than everybody else. That's the way it's supposed to be. There are even signs posted that say, slower traffic, keep to the right. But there's always, and it's not just one, plenty of jackasses that go into the left-hand lane and drive maybe the speed limit, and they absolutely will not move out of your way. The only time they speed up is when you go around and you try to pass them. Then they start to speed up. And it's like, are you freaking kidding me? I just got out of 20 minutes of bumper to bumper traffic because, and I'm guessing that there was construction on a section of 95, so the app actually diverted me off the highway. Now, normally I don't divert off the highway, especially when I get down here towards the, the tunnel system, because I know that diverting off the highway isn't gonna do me any good. It's just gonna piss me off even more because now I'm going slow through residential areas instead of going slow on the highway. This time, you know, I was far enough away from anything that I thought, okay, there must be something big that they, they've diverted us off because then I scrolled and it was like for a while. But obviously, I'm not the only one that gets diverted off the highway. So there was a long line of, of unmoving traffic. Now, the other thing that happened is that because there was all this construction back by Fredericksburg, where I normally turn off to get gas and to pee and get a coffee and all that kind of stuff, I missed it because it's it's been built so differently now with the construction that I didn't realize where I was. And I was like, hmm, shit, was that my turn? Like, it doesn't even look the same. Like, it's so different. And I haven't come this way for a few months. So it, obviously a lot has changed in a few months. So I missed it. Then I looked down to see how much gas I have left. And according to the app, how many miles I have to go. And I'm not even close to having the amount of gas that I need. Then whilst I was sitting in that 20 minutes of, of like bumper to bumper, you know, in this little towny area, I realized how much I have to pay. So I'm gonna have to turn off here somewhere, but I need to get the, the raginess out of me from sitting there in bumper to bumper traffic so long and at least speed for a while so that I feel like I'm making progress. But I just wanted to give you a road rage update and tell you that I have to pay. So hopefully I can stop somewhere soon. Well, kids, this is the first time in a long time that this has happened. I did not sit 
in any bumper to bumper traffic to get through the tunnel. I'm still shocked. I, I don't believe it. Whew. Okay, kids, I am home and pretty damn happy about it. I ended up stopping at a Starbucks to pee and to get coffee. And then I had more than enough gas to then go to UPS, which is like on the opposite end of the shopping center of the gas station, filled up, good to go. All I gotta say is thank Zeus my company is paying for gas. And now that I'm back on the road, I can expense that stuff because it was like $76 to fill my tank. Ugh. Okay, enough about that because we all have problems. So I was able to pick up two things. One thing would be the Freewell UV filter for the 7200. And the other thing would be two times teleconverter, two times extender for whatever lens, but it's going to be for this lens. Huh? Eh, it's already on there. It's teeny. I remember my Canon one being so much bigger, but it, it's tiny. It basically added no weight to this. And here you will see a picture of my neighbor's cat in the window before I put the extender on. And then you now see the picture of the cat not being in the window by the time I put the extender on. So the cat didn't play nice and he bolted before I got the second picture, but you can clearly see how much more reach I got by putting on the two times extender. And that was with the 70 to 200 uh, F2.8 version two at 200 millimeters. So essentially that was 400 millimeters. So 200 then becomes 400, which will then become what, 600 by the time, if I put it in a crop mode, because obviously if it's a 200 millimeter lens, crop mode's one and a half. So that puts me at 300, then the two times extender, 600. So what does that mean? When I put on the 200 to 600, 600 becomes 900 when I put on crop mode. And then with the two times extender, it becomes 1800. <laughs> uh, can't wait to go play with that tomorrow. So you'll see pictures from that and, and I might shoot some video with it as well, but I'm pretty stoked that the stuff all finally came in. And you know what that means. I told you and my mother-in-law and Yankee Cowboy are going to hold me to this. I'm not buying any more stuff. I've got everything that I need, everything that I've ever wanted, and I'm good to go. So short of catastrophic failure or theft, knock on monkey wood there, I don't need anything else. I've got everything I want. That isn't to say that I'm not going to have stuff on my wish list that I wouldn't mind getting, but for now, I have everything I want, and that's awesome. So that's all I've got for you. I am still just completely wound up from being in the car for so long. I'm also hungry and my wife should be home in like 10 minutes and I'm sure she's going to send me out for food and I can't wait to eat. So that's that for now. That's all I've got for you. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.